No, no, no. Don't fly away. Quick. Thanks. <laughs>How you guys doing? Chris Ignato here and thanks for stopping by my channel. Now, out camping and you know there was a day of rain and all this kind of stuff and then the rain stopped. I mean it rained all day and night and figured the next day a lot of cool stuff would come out and it did. So one of the things is a palisinid which is a type of wasp and I'm extremely excited by this but we have to film it in this tent because it can fly away and then you guys won't be able to see it so this was uh, the answer to that problem. So I'm going to take her out. This is a female pelicinid or pelicinid, pelicinid. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. I never did find out. I found these things out in Western Pensy years ago and I've never seen one since so I'm very excited to find one here. There you go. Okay. What a beautiful creature. Now this, as I said, is a type of wasp. And it's got a very intimidating looking abdomen, but it actually just uses that for laying eggs. It does not sting with it. It actually... Hold on, guys. <laughs> okay, got her back. <laughs> Again. Now, I'm going to keep her covered for a second. They use that long abdomen. She uses that long abdomen for sticking it into the soil in search of grubs. And when it finds one, she will lay a single egg on the grub. And of course, that egg eventually hatches. The larva will burrow into the grub and consume it. Most likely alive, since that's how the insect world is filled with nightmares. Um... But they're gorgeous. As I said, they're not aggressive. They don't sting. And the males, which I've seen probably two of them in my, in my life, are really rare. They have a short abdomen, which is slightly swollen looking. And I believe the wings are a little bit different. You can't tell me that's not a beautiful looking wasp. Very characteristic wasp type antenna. If it was a fly, it would be shaped like a Y. Capital Y. And uh, it's not a dragonfly. If it was a dragonfly, the wings would be out to the sides with a, a non-bent abdomen. And uh, if it was a damselfly, they'd be up to the top, but it would also it would still have a straight abdomen. But if you look closely, you can tell that it's a wasp. And not a fly, not a dragonfly. But isn't that a beautiful creature? So, uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys. And once again, I'm Chris Ignato. Hope you guys have a lot of fun finding things like this out in the wild and uh, stay adventurous. Signing out.